Now I'm going to talk a little bit today here about shad wraps and the different sizes and kind of when and where I throw them. And you know, with all shad wraps, you know, one of my favorite times to fish them is in the early spring, in the winter, late fall, whenever that water's cold. You know, but these these baits catch fish year round. But the number five shad wrap you see right here, I like to throw this bait when those fish get up in the backs of pockets on the real shallow banks. Say my boat's sitting in four to six feet of water and I'm throwing into a foot or less. And even after, at times after these fish have been pressured and they've seen a lot of, a lot of different crankbaits for a lot of different weeks, but usually I like this bait when the water has some stain or color or green tint to that. Now, the number six shad wrap and number seven, as you can see, they're very similar in size. This is kind of a go-to bait early on when the fish first start biting a shad wrap, when they're on those little bit deeper points, say where my boat's sitting in eight to 12 foot of water and I'm fishing that bait out there, you know, four to eight feet of water. And this is probably one of the staples here on Kentucky Lake and really in most places, you know, for the early spring. And these are two of my favorites that I throw a lot, a lot, most of the time. Now, the number eight and number nine shad wraps, these baits here, as you can see, they're a little bit bigger. As you can see, here's a seven, and this is the number eight. And also the number nine, I like to throw these baits, you know, when the water's a little clear, I'm fishing out on the ends of these gravel bars or ledges, things of that nature. When I've got more visibility in the water and those fish are out a little bit deeper off the bank, say in that six to 10 foot of water, that's when I like to reach for the number eight. That seems to be when it shines. But that's just kind of a little rundown of the different size of shad wraps and kind of when and where. I mean, all these baits are great baits, but I, I just kind of let the time of year, the water color, the type of lake, and the, you know, I just kind of let that kind of tell me which one I reach for first in my box. So that's just a little tip I think will help you pick out a shad wrap that'll help you catch more fish.